A friend of mine went to Taipei and brought back two N thirty eight sixty six from the local market. Five years passed, and I still don't know what to do with them. Today, one of these transistors will be used to drive U.S. made two N thirty five fifty three just to see what happens. In 1960, Motorola tested both transistors with power supply of 28 volts, although they have ratings which are not significantly different. I don't have 28 volts, and if I use the bigger transformer, it will give me 22 volts at 500 milliamp, which should be enough for a dirty weekend project like this. Actually, three different potentials from a single transformer are used to operate the oscillator, the buffer, the pre-driver, and the driver as shown here. The original J310 fixed frequency oscillator is modified so that it can be tuned around 145 MHz. Audio modulation is also added using simple RC circuitry. First, the 2N3866 from Taipei is tested in order to understand its behavior a little bit better. Its collector current at 22 volts is observed to be only 17 milliamp. Now we will tune the oscillator to see how the Taipei driver transistor synchronizes itself to frequency change. Apparently, the 33 and 22 PF at the base of the driver can only provide resonance up to 151 MHz, but this is more than enough to test 145 MHz transmitter. We are not going to use a dummy load in this test. In fact, the output from the US transistor will be tuned to match a dirty J-pole antenna that needs half an hour to make. While still at the antenna subject, this is the low pass filter that can be used in the output circuit, but this dirty experiment will not use it. This is another dirty work to tune output of the Chinese driver to the input of the American final. Using same quick fix method, two variable capacitors are added to match the output to the antenna. Here is the final prototype. The US made transistor consumes 55 mA at 22 volts, which I'll leave it that way.